uh, basically, as everybody knows, that uh, the transportation sector accounts for almost 13% of the total gas emissions to the globe. So tackling um, uh, this issue is very important um, aspect. Now, lots of uh, uh, concerned parties, including research and developments, trying really to develop technologies uh, to avoid or to uh, combat such, uh, such issue. Uh, part of what we are doing at, at uh, GORD, or Gulf Organization for Research and Development, is to develop technologies to reduce the, f the um, uh, fuel uh, consumption as well as reducing the pollutant air emissions. Um, the the uh, GORD has um, uh, launched uh, recently an integrated system uh, where these two um, objectives um, can be addressed. The system basically consists of um, heat exchanger where it uh, act, um, uh, absorb the um, thermal energy uh, with the um, emitted gases, uh, transform it into electricity. That electricity is uh, saved in batteries. And then the electricity is used to produce hydrogen uh, from potable water. And that hydrogen gas is injected uh, into the engine and the resultant is lower uh, uh, pollutants or uh, um, uh, emissions, as well as saving up to 20% uh, in fuel consumption. Right. I mean, you're talking about lower emissions, lower, lower carbon emissions, by, by how much? Uh, basically, based on the initial studies by um, third parties, uh, we have reached um, of uh, reducing, reduction of uh, more than 50% and CO uh, emissions, carbon monoxide. And this is, I would say, a very important um, achievement. Uh, at the same time, there are also other pollutant gases also were reduced. I mean, is there scope, this is obviously, you just um, unveiled the, this model today. Is there scope as the, negoti as the um, investigations continue to lower those carbon emissions still further? Is that, is that one of your hopes and, uh, hopes and aims? Uh, yes, this is part of, uh, of the objectives of this ambitious project. But at the same time, we believe such uh, cuts in the emissions uh, as of today uh, are very encouraging and it really um, helps in um, reducing the uh, impact of this or the challenges that we face. Right. And it's obviously an issue here, here in Qatar, despite it being a nation built to a large, a large extent on, on oil. Um, is there still an incentive um, among, in the investigative, in the scientific uh, community to lower those, those emissions, to lower carbon emissions, less use of, of oil, despite the fact that the country was built on, on that very same oil? Uh, yes, despite uh, this fact, despite the fact that we have also uh, cheap um, energy, we feel that as a society, we feel that we are responsible. Our uh, country's vision, which is called Qatar 2023, uh, places great emphasis on environment. In fact, it is uh, part of the one of the four pillars of Qatar uh, vision. So therefore, as a responsible society, uh, we feel that you know we need to contribute to the global efforts uh, related to combating the uh, climate change. And when do we hope to see this new vehicle uh, widely available in, in the showrooms, out on the roads? Just it is a matter of uh, scaling up you know, the research prototype into actual implementation. Although the, the current you know, version of the technology being fixed on a used car, um, so that you know, to make sure that uh, you know it, it works, uh, and then the commercialization, um, resolving the commercialization, commercialization uh, you know framework is the important uh, thing. After uh, after which we can see the um, implementation of the system.